Welcome to The Shooting Show. We might be in the middle of a heat wave, but this week we follow Jeff Garrett on a rainy day's pigeon shooting. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. The tree over there in that corner, actually. Right, well, we're uh, we're off again today. Um, not the best of days. I've got remit, overcast, a bit of drizzle in the air. Wind is going to change from a southwesterly to a northeasterly. It's going to go around 180 degrees. Um, but we're, we're back on the rape again and due to the unseasonally cold weather uh, that we've had our rape round here hasn't got away as other people's rape has so we've got a few bare patches here and the pigeons are still hitting it um, so been watching this place uh, this field for about a week now nice few pigeons building up it's about 12 o'clock now um, and I don't expect too much to happen till sort of mid-afternoon but um, they come up, they, what they do is they come over the motorway they come up alongside here through here they've been sitting in these trees all week or these hedges so I'm gonna go down here I've been watching them this morning there's the odd one still keeping on that line so I'm just gonna go down in the bottom here and build a hide in one of these bushes here put the deeks out on a bit of bare patch of rape and um, I've just grabbed a couple of hazel um, sticks out of the wood I'm going to use a couple of enforcer decoys put them on the sticks and just loft them just so they sit above on the top of the hedge because um, that's what the pigeons have been doing and they'll stand out a lot more there and that'll just give them something to look at and then hopefully by, when they see them they'll swing round, see the pattern and come in and um, hopefully we'll be ready waiting for them That's the back of the hide really, gives us good backstop there, can't beat a good few fur bells, just put in the back there, gives us a little bit of a roof as well, a little bit of shelter, put the net round the front and away we go. Hopefully to the passing pigeon, they won't notice any difference. Hopefully. Hopefully.
We'll maybe wait a bit then. Yeah. yeah. You know, George. Steal it. Yeah, yeah. Billy, Billy, get over. Get back. No. Get back. No. Get back. Steady, steady, steady. Billy. Good boy. Just put that. When it's rain and a bit misty, all them baubles on there a real live pigeon, you never see a live pigeon with things like that that puts them off more than anything Right, well we, we just had a serious decision to make, uh, something that I haven't done for a long, long time uh, in shooting. Where we were, where we were set up, the wind changed, which then changed the flight lines. Birds were coming over the motorway, up the side of the motorway, feeding on top of the hill here, whereas when we watched them this morning, they were feeding down the bottom end and drifting along the bottom hedge. So we've just basically upsticked, got everything here, got all the decoys up, just slung them out there, we've put a net here, as you can probably hear, we're on the edge of the motorway. Um, there's a level bank at the top here, about 10 foot level bank. The carriageway is probably a good 70 yards below us as it goes down like that, and we're shooting directly away from it. So as long as I keep shooting out there, away from the motorway, we should be fine on that situation. We've just had three or four pigeons, you know, decoy well. Um, it's still absolutely miserable day, weather-wise. Um, but just go go through it and see what we can do.
coming in, so time to pack up, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've had a bit of a wet day today. Uh, forecast was not as what it said it was going to be. Um, and we've had to move hides because of the wind change. Uh, and we got soaked in the first hide. We got the second hide and got wet. We had a good spell when it stopped raining. Uh, we probably ended up, I don't know, 30, 40 pigeons. But it's just started to rain again. And um, that's it for me. I'm off. Well, that's another day finished. Um, it's been a very, very wet day. Uh, not what I expected. Um, been watching the field of rape the last four or five days. Been building up quite nicely. And got a rough idea where I needed to be. Um, so when we got there this morning, just had a sort of like a final look and yeah it was the place to be went down build a hide um, had some rope bangers with us so i went to put the rope bangers up came back watched two or three groups of pigeons absolutely fall into the decoys thought perfect here we go got in the hide and got the first pigeon to come in then probably about 10 minutes quarter of an hour noticed that the wind was changing and the weather forecast today was, it did say we was going to have some light sort of drizzle, um, but it was going to clear up, or it's going to be clear to start with, a bit of drizzle, then clearing up at the end of the day. Well, that just never happened. Um, it was in the hide for about, probably about an hour. Wind had changed completely. Uh, flight line changed. Yeah. And we had to make a decision, one that I very, very rarely make, of moving and the weather was was getting worse so we thought while there was a little bit of a lull in the pigeons we up sticks we we just grabbed everything got in the truck we went to the other side of the field set up and it was a good decision to make um, because sort of halfway through the afternoon didn't wasn't raining but it was just a damp day and when we'd been round and brushed all the water off the pigeon decoys, the pigeon started the decoy, really did. And you know, we had a good bit of fun there, good bit of sport. Then about quarter to five, it started to rain again and it got heavy and I was wet, the cameraman was wet. We were getting fed up. So we just decided to pull the plug and call it a day. Um, took all the stuff, all the nets and decoys, everything down to the farm laid them all out in the barn to dry out, um, put the birds in the chiller, which we picked up 54. So it wasn't a bad day, but it was just a wet, miserable day. No enjoyment really, um, but done the job of keeping the pigeons off the rape. Jeff and the cameraman there eventually managing to avoid a washout. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. With less than two weeks until the Game Fair 2018, there's still time to get a discounted early bird ticket. Advanced saver prices are available until the 26th of July. Tickets on the gate cost more. Don't forget that Basque members get free entry to the Game Fair. For everyone else, to buy tickets, head to thegamefair.org. A Welsh minister is trying to restrict shooting in Wales and reject the conclusions of a review into how it's carried out. Natural Resources Wales had produced a detailed report into game shooting on its land and concluded that shooting could continue sustainably. But the Welsh Minister for the Environment wrote to NRW telling them to discard the review because the Welsh Government does not support commercial pheasant shooting. The Countryside Alliance said it was bitterly disappointed. Firearm certificates have risen by 2% and are now at their highest level in 30 years, according to new Home Office figures. Now, more than 157,000 people in the UK have a firearms licence. Shotgun licences also increased in number and now stand at 567,000. A Basque spokesman said that the more people who take part in shooting sports, the louder our voice and the better our position for promoting the sport becomes. And finally, Britain has a world number one in shooting. The latest ISSF rankings have been released and Aaron Heading is the number one in men's trap. This comes after his World Cup gold medal in Malta last month. 
Men's trap athletes are back out in action tomorrow at the World Cup stage in Tucson. For more clay shooting news, pick up Clay Shooting Magazine every month. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.